Well, we are here at the request of linebacker Larry. Um, he's outraged with the recent announcement of a fight uh, between Canelo Alvarez and Amir Khan. And um, when he called me about it, you know, I was just laughing. I was just like, wow. You know, I mean, I don't care how they try to sell this. It's just another black guy to boxing. And it, it just really messes with the, its integrity. Um, you know, but I could see why, how it happened, why it happened, and where it's all coming from. And at the end of the day, um, you know, anybody who's been in the big leagues, in the, in the entertainment world, in the music world, in the sports world, will tell you at the end of the day, we're all just businessmen. It's all about the money. If, if you think otherwise, you're going to get hurt or you're going to get bruised. Even Marlon Brando once said that. He goes, if you think it's not about the money, you're going to get bruised. And, and he's so right. So um, it's a pleasure to have you online. Um, like I said, I, uh, today was a day off. Um, I, I needed it, but you know, he, you were so adamant about wanting to talk about this um, to what you call an injustice, and you were just outraged. And it's very few times when uh, you get this um, passionate about something. So I told my girl, I said, linebacker Larry needs, needs to talk about this. We need to let him vent. We need to let, let it out. And... Um, Therefore, here we are. All right, linebacker Larry, take it away. So, first of all, I want to I want to thank everybody for for being here. And of course, always with Moxie Empire, it's always a pleasure here at the Fight Republic. Thank you, Big Papa. I know you had plans with your girl, but you know, I really just felt that we need to talk about this, especially right now when it just caught off. It's hot off the press, and I think it's just a great injustice. And for all of you people that really don't know what we're talking about, the announcement today that Golden Boy made, Oscar De La Hoya, CEO, said that. Canelo Alvarez was going to fight Amir Khan on May 7th here from Las Vegas, Nevada at the MGM for the middleweight championship. Now, first of all, that that's ridiculous to me, okay? A shame on boxing for even making this fight, okay? I'm going to break it down very simple. First of all, Canelo, I'm not even going to go at Canelo, okay? Canelo's a fighter. He's going to do what his promoter tells him. He's going to do whatever. He's proven to me that he's a fighting champion. He'll fight anybody, okay? But first of all, this is not the fight that we wanted. This was not the fight that the boxing world needs to see. I don't know what all these people are talking about that we're going to have a great fight on May 7th. Are you kidding me? First of all, this should have been Canelo versus Triple G from the start. Triple G has been waiting for that WBC championship title or whoever was going to win it from Canelo and Cotto to face him to unify the titles. And when when that happened and Canelo won in November, what happens? Oscar De Loya needs Canelo to have a tune-up fight. For what? What do you need a tune-up fight for? Okay, I'll give you that. Have your tune-up fight, okay? But then where in your right mind do you choose Amir Khan to come in out of nowhere and choose Canelo Alvarez? Are you kidding me? We all know Amir Khan is small. We all know Amir Khan has a weak chin. And we all know that Amir Khan is a points guy, which means that this is going to be a very boring fight because Canelo Alvarez is going to be chasing him around the ring and pretty much Khan's going to try to outpoint him because he's not going to stand up and strike with him. Canelo will knock him out. But at the end of the day, we know what you did, Oscar. What you did is you tried to secure, and actually you did secure, a sure victory for Canelo which for me, you're over here saying that he's the best in the world, that he's the best in boxing. This doesn't show me anything because you're putting him against guys that we all know are not in the same weight division, that we all know that he shouldn't be fighting. Khan should be fighting other fighters and Canelo should be fighting Triple G. That's what makes me upset about this fight. It is not a right fight. And first of all, and the, the fans do not deserve this. We deserve a good fight. We deserve a Triple G and a Canelo, not Amir Khan. Well, I agree with you with that in the sense that do the crowd does the crowd deserve this? I mean, do they deserve to get all this money they're gonna get for fighting fighters that are just not a match? Of course not. But that's been happening in boxing forever. I mean, all the fighters, you know, that's that's what they say. That's what's wrong with boxing. You know, all these mismatches. This is just another mismatch. Of course, they're gonna say it's a great fight. Of course, they're gonna. He, De La Hoya has to promote it. You know, it's his only fighter. I mean, and he doesn't really have another fighter that's right now his um, you know, his um, egg nest. I mean, it's just, that's his. That's the one he's gonna make the most money off. Um, he happens to be Mexican. I mean, and and you know, he, he's gonna he's gonna ride that one as long as he could. But really, does De La Hoya really have a stable of like other champions that he could really pr no? No, he doesn't. This is all he's got. So he's he's gonna he's gonna try to juice it as best as possible. He used to always say Bob Arum did that with him. Well, now Oxter's doing it. So. 
but it's nothing new in boxing. This is new. Promoters do that. Um, you know, is, is it unfortunate? Yes. Is that the best fight we can have? Yeah. But you know, when you look at the middleweight division, I mean, oh my God, it's a barren desert. It's like, like, I mean, I was looking at the list, nice and, I, and thank you. I was looking at the list, and I'm like, who? 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 I felt like an owl. I was like, wow, it's like the, the, the Tecolote syndrome, the Tecolote meaning owl. It's like, who? Who? It was like, who are these people? You know, they're ranked number three, they're number two. There's nobody. I mean, I'm looking at the, you know, I'm thinking, well, where else could they go? I mean, obviously, the position of Anir Amir Khan is really ridiculous. I mean, he's like the beggar of boxing. I mean, seriously, he hasn't fought in a long time. I mean, the smaller guy, um, Danny Garcia, knocked him out. A way smaller guy. Now you're going against a bigger guy, and you, ha, ha, he just skipped. He went from welter. He, is he even a welter champion? No, he's not a he's welter He's like, like a silver middle, silver WBC, some invented title. He's a something. paper champion. Okay, so he jumped that. He jumped the super welterweight and ran right into the a championship with the middleweight. Well, a, a bigger guy. When he he first of all, he doesn't knock any. Anybody out? He did knock out Algeri unanimous decision. Alexander unanimous decision. Colazo unanimous decision. Diaz unanimous decision. It's like he's 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 like his middle name should be Amir decision Khan, and now he's going up against a bigger guy. It's like it's just ridiculous that whoever on all sides approved it. But if you look at it from the angle of everybody, Amir Khan's been begging for any kind of fight. He just wants to. What well, he Amir Khan gets off from being on the big stage. He's been on the MGM. He's been at the Mandalay. Bay. He's been in New York um, at the at the Barclays. What has he done? Like I said, I, I always try to give him the benefit of the doubt. I went to a sports bar today, and I asked like 20 people, "Have you heard of this name?" Out of the 20 people, only one goes, "Oh yeah, he's a boxer," and nobody else knew who he was. It, he just likes to be in the limelight. He doesn't produce. He doesn't knock anybody out. He's not a showstopper. He's not. He's not exciting. Nobody cares. Watch after he gets knocked out, and I'm telling you, he's gonna get beat up. Well, after he gets beat, he's gonna disappear, and his chances, he's gonna have to. Who was the guy who so we wanted him to fight last week? Cal Brook. Cal Brook. Watch. Cal Brook, he was telling Cal Brook 8 2. Watch. When he gets his butt kicked by Canelo, now he's gonna have to give him 5 5. He could have made good money, but what he really, I thought about it. Why wouldn't he wanna go home and beat Cal Brook? Cal Brook is like awesome, right? He, he's, he's the real deal. Well, he's, he'll get beat, and he's gonna get, get beat at home. So the embarrassment. That embarrassment is just waiting for him. It's just waiting for him. It's a matter of time. He's going to give it. So he's going to get beat over here. He's going to get beat over there. And guess what? Everyone's going to just remember Amir Khan is going to be an afterthought. No one's even going to remember him. So, I mean, look at it from the perspective of like the De La Hoya. Why would De La Hoya do this fight? To protect his fighter. It's an easy fight against a guy that's desperate. Uh, De La Hoya called the shot on the percentage. Why did Al Heyman let this happen? Al Heyman's still going to get his cut. You know, as his representative. So Al Heyman's like, go ahead. It's like, what else? Anyway, what other fight could he set up for him? That was a smart move by Al Heyman. Just, if I'm his rep, I'm going to go ahead, go fight. Oh, you got a good fight? Oh, you get decent money? All right, good. Go make me some money. <laughs> you know, and I don't have to do much. That, so I could see where Al Heyman did it. Now, De La Hoya, that's his, own, that's his only fighter. He's going he's gonna to set up a, a really, really simple fight. But to go against a guy in the, in the uh, for it's like a middleweight guy, where, uh, in other words, Amir Khan has no business fighting at that level. He's not, Amir Khan's not ranked in the top 10 of the middleweights. He's not even ranked in, in any uh, in the top 10 of the super welters. He's just a welter and he's not even a welter champion. You know, it, that's Danny Garcia. So he, he skips and, and and the guy that doesn't that doesn't knock anybody out that just wins by decisions when he wins is now going against a guy that's much bigger. This fight is just ridiculous. If I'm De La Hoya, is that an easy fight? Yeah, it happens to come on May 5th. It, is it a, everybody, all the Mexican people always go after everybody. It's not really the Independence Day. The Independence Day is September. You know, that's the real one. May 5th, they say it's like American made. American made so they could sell tequila. and so, could, <laughs> so they could just have a celebration using the Mexican thing. But, the, but May 5th is not acknowledged in Mexico. It's just acknowledged in the United States. So Mayweather leaves and they're like, oh my God, we have a void. But think about it. Who else is out there? I mean, who realistically, who else is out there? In the whole boxing world, who else is out there? So it's like you, you got, you're got you looking around and you're like, well, okay, we'll take Canelo. I mean, Oscar's always going to build him up and, and and, and trying to make him seem like Superman. We know he's not Superman. We've seen him. And I've seen great athletes. He's average athlete, flat-footed, slow. You know, doesn't doesn't have the movement of a real boxer. He's lucky there's not a real boxer that has speed, that has Mayweather speed with with Triple G power. 
then there'd be no chance. Look, man, the bottom line of this fight, dude, is I understand what you're saying in the business point, but this is a load of crap, all right? This is a load of crap, and I don't want to see Amir Khan. He does not deserve this fight. He shouldn't be getting this fight. The bottom line is this guy's just looking for the attention. He's looking for anything of the attention. Amir Khan, what happened to you just a few weeks ago? You were talking about, oh, who wants to see Amir Khan versus Danny Garcia too? Who wants to see it? Because I'm the number one contender for the WBC championship. I'm the uh, I'm the mandatory contender. You were all high up about that fight because you couldn't go fight Kell Brook in your own country. You were scared to go fight Kell Brook. There you go, Danny Garcia. So what happened to that fight? What happened to the guy that knocked you the hell out the first time? Now all of a sudden you're gonna come and fight Canelo? All of a sudden you just all oh, grew? All of a sudden you're a bad fighter and you're gonna fight Canelo Alvarez. Not that Canelo is anything special, but who are you to go up against in a Mexican holiday? Well, not really a Mexican holiday, an American-made Mexican holiday to go fight on a day where Mayweather not even Canelo Mayweather made that date special. Not you. What are you doing there, my friend? You don't belong there. You know where you belong. You belong on a plane back to the UK fighting Kell Brook over there in Wembley Stadium, getting the hell knocked out so you can f***ing wake up and f***ing see, holy crap, I am not that damn good. Because let me tell you, my friend, I don't want to see you. You're not good, all right? I'd rather see you against Danny Garcia. Why? Because Danny Garcia's going to knock you the hell out, too. You're going to be running from Canelo. We all know that. You're going to try your little tactics. Oh, I'm going to move and jab, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do I'm going to be a smart fighter. You're not a smart fighter. You're a boring fighter. I don't want to see you, my friend. This is a horrible fight. I don't even know why you're taking it. I don't even know why I'm talking about this i'm so upset big pop will take over yeah you know and, and it, shame on canelo too i mean you know canelo you know, he, he he it's all you got to remember you know at the end of the day it's all it's all a sell it's all trying to sell pay-per-view trying to sell tickets uh trying to get viewership that's what it comes down to and it's an it's an ugly thing it's a it's a beast you know and anybody tell who tells you uh, who's been up there in the, in the high levels will tell you it's it's a monster that takes takes a life of its own. I mean, do I like it? No. Do I think it's ridiculous that Canelo's gonna fight a smaller guy? Is like Canelo, if you're willing to face anybody, as you say, quote unquote, I'll face anybody. It's like, yeah. How about Triple G? Triple G's gonna knock your head. He's gonna hit your head like a, like somebody like a golf swing, a golf ball. You're gonna be go, go out there flying. Your head's gonna be rolling on the ground when he's done with you. Triple G ain't gonna put up with this little sissy stuff. But then then I then De La Hoya is oh a nine one. What do you want a nine one? split a2 split for canelo really it's like who's the one that's scared who's the one that has all the titles in the middleweight division i mean okay canelo you know bogusly won the fight to me against Cotto. old Cotto. cotto has been done forever and he beat him for the title okay if you feel proud of that i guess but you guys waited long enough i said who has the wba triple g who has the ibf triple g the WBO belongs to Billy Joe, but you know I've I've looked him up and I wasn't impressed. Okay, he's 23 and 0 with 12 KOs and 12 KOs and 23 fights. You know half of your fights are KOs and the la and, and the last ones have been decisions. Where we go, another another decision master. And it's, I don't want to see Billy Joe or whatever his name is. You know he, he doesn't get the job done. And, and he, he I heard he didn't want to fight Triple G. Of course not. You're gonna have a 23 23 and one record and with the KO, but you're not gonna be doing the KO. You're gonna get KO'd. Um, you know another thing. Um, it's like I just don't like when they run off their mouth saying things that are ridiculous like De La Hoya saying oh I get impressed by Canelo's power look 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 De La Hoya we understand you're a promoter and you're gonna hype your only your only legitimate fighter in your stable that's left that was left after everybody else left I mean the tr that's the truth um, you're gonna ride him as long as you can and it makes sense it's business you got to do that and you gotta you know kiss his butt in public and say oh he can hit he could do this he could do that but let's get down to the realistic situation of it all i mean i'm always defending canelo everybody calls him the midget andy dalton you know the quarterback for the cincinnati bengals you know because <laughs> they call him the midget daddy Andy. some people go hey was that he doesn't look like prince harry and i'm like well no not really to me you know i'm, I'm defending him and then i get i get in these big old arguments in the sports bar people say hey wasn't he ron wesley from um, you know the movie um, you know the Harry Potter and I'm like no that wasn't him you know yeah he has red hair but no that's not him so and then they go they're saying he became actor and he became boxer but that's that's a whole other story but anyways I mean let's look at Canelo look I paid I paid close attention to Canelo's last 10 fights and I've been less than impressed when I first heard about him I am um, one of the times where I really want to see him was um, at the Staples Center where they said that he has this power and he's amazing and blah 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 and I'm like all right let's take a look at him you know and um, I want to look at him not impressed he, he barely won 
won. Um, what, what has he had in his last few fights? A unanimous decision against Koro. Old Koro, and all you could do is UD him? Come on. Kirkland, KO in the 12th. A KO, a, a fighter that was not ready for that fight, that, that just had a lot of things going on. And if you knew the reality, if Kirkland was really ready mentally in all facets, not at all. It was That was an easy W. Lara, split decision. Um... Angulo TKO. Remember that one? Remember that, that one? Rem- remember that one? He looked terrible. And then they gave him the TKO. What in the, what, what, you know what I mean? In the last row, like almost, it just, that one was just, people thought it was highly suspect, right? Oh, yeah, the, way, the way that was a TKO. Yeah. So look at it. So unanimous decision. The, uh, uh, Kirkland, th- that was just not right to fight that guy. That guy had no business being in there. Lara, the decision. That TKO. Mayweather, loss. Trout unanimous decision, mostly unanimous decision, an old mostly be at that. So how great, how 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 powerful is he with so many decisions? How strong and powerful can he be? I mean, when you say power, you're talking Marciano. You're talking. There's some greats that, that Tyson. Mike Tyson. That's power. It's like De La Hoya. It's like, but then again, look at De La Hoya. He's not a big guy. He's not a monster. De La Hoya was never a KO artist. Well, how would he know power? You know, I, I go stand in front of Triple G, and then see power. Exactly. And you know, here's the thing about that, and I agree with you completely, man, but I want to know what Amir Khan's going to do after this. You know, when he get when he loses, and I'd better not see this, man, but when he loses, I'd better not see him going back to the 147 and now start claiming, oh, I'm the mandatory, you know, WBC contender. I'm the mandatory this. I want to go fight Danny Garcia and avenge my loss. I want to go fight, you know, Keith Thurman and, and, and fight for the I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Amir Khan, if you're that badass like you say you are, if you're that badass and you've been complaining about a badass fight, okay, my friend, you got it. But you know what? You better put up or shut up because I do not want to see you if you get knocked the hell out or even if it goes to decision because you're a boring fighter. You'll probably make it go to decision. I don't want to see you go back to 147 and start crying again the way you've been doing, talking about how nobody wants to fight me, everybody's scared, and don't even go the route of Mayweather should fight me, Mayweather should come out of retirement, my friend. This is your shot. I don't know. Someone up above might like you. I don't know. But I'm telling you what, my friend. You have one shot on May 7th, and I really don't think you're going to do anything with it. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I think you're going to get knocked the hell out, you know? But you have one shot on May 7th to prove Everybody wrong. I mean, is he dumb enough to to stand in exchange? He can't. He, he couldn't even handle guys in his own weight. He he got knocked out by Garcia. Eh, I'll grant it because of size. Um, what's his name? Uh, Canelo hits harder. He's gonna hit him harder. Gonna hit harder. Is he gonna stand there and take a shot and get knocked out and get get exposed and get humiliated in front of the world? I mean, what does he bring to the table? Does anybody really want to see Amir Khan? No. I mean, you said that one of the one. So I, look, I'm not here to bash writers. Writers can have their opinion, but. We we know writers a lot of them are close to the promoters and you know they're close and they're not gonna ever bash the event they're gonna that's their chance to come to Vegas have a good time and you know get a good seat and you know you know what I mean have a good dinner and everything so of course they're gonna make it it's one of those few fights that come along they're like oh we got a fight we have an okay fight you know and there they go but to say so well, I, we're not even gonna mention him but you know who I'm talking about of course but I'm to not. say that he and he's a, he's a well-known writer and it's like come on dude really to say oh this is the fight dude you know, you're just, you're just, you're just, there's just been such a lack of real boxing that you're just happy there's a boxing where you can leave your home state and come to Vegas and have some fun. That's that's the reason why it's, why it's such a big fight to you. But 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 as a writer, don't you owe it to the people to say the truth, to call it the way it is, and not not, not build something up that's not there? The people aren't blind. I mean, yeah, the people put up with a lot of BS and they want to be entertained. But after they work hard, they have their jobs, you know, and, and they, 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 they're they kind enough uh, to see your event. So, and some of them to pay, whether it's pay-per-view or whether some of them are kind enough to go to the event, attend the event. You know, so you're making money off them. To not give them a real, a real fight, the real thing, to give them a bogus fight like this one, it's kind of like, it, it was kind of like to me like a Mayweather-Madonna kind of fight, you know, where it's like, who cares? Who's the who's the who's the real dealer? Mayweather. Okay, here it's Canelo. Why? Okay, May fifth. Why? Okay, because he's Mexican. Oh, and that's the MGM. They gotta put in somebody in there. But to give Amir Khan, a guy that's levels below, sway smaller, that doesn't knock anybody out. What does he bring to the table? I don't get it. Am I happy about it? No. Do I care about it? No. I mean, I think you're just gonna want to see it to see um, Amir Khan on his back. <laughs> 
with his head, his eyes rolling. And then well, you want to just ask him, where are you going? For, where are you going now? Who are you going to go beg now? Well, I'll tell you one thing, man. I don't want. I don't want to see him after this fight because if he loses this fight, if he loses this fight, I don't want to hear Amir Khan. He's gonna lose this. Fight. I don't want to hear about Amir Khan. I definitely don't yeah. want to hear him going down yeah. to 147 talking about he's a champion. He needs to fight the champion. I don't want to hear that no more. Look, Amir Khan. If you heard my last podcast or my last when we were here at the Fight Republic, I told you about one fighter, not in boxing, but in MMA, and that was Conor McGregor. And I told you that that guy goes up in weight and he's going to fight the lightweight champion in the UFC, you know, a, 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 a fighter that's heavier than him. And I guarantee you, Conor McGregor will probably put on a show and he'll probably beat yeah, but, him. But Conor knocks people out. Okay, but what I'm saying here he's is... A real, he's the real deal. Okay, Amir, you got your shot, my friend. You have your shot. Come May 7th, you're going to have your shot to go up against Canelo. You know, yeah, you had to do a catch weight because we all know you can't do 160. You know, you're probably crying about the weight too. You're probably saying, oh, 155. Well, I'll tell you what, my friend, Canelo's going to go in at 170. We all know that. He's going to go in it's at about just 170. Ama- it's just amazing how the crybaby got his, got his big chance. It's just amazing that he got it. I can't believe it. You know, like I guess it's true what they say. You cry and cry and knock and knock and knock and, and you're so persistent. You're so persistent. And, and But it's an easy one for Canelo. It's an easy one for... Why Canelo took this fight against a smaller guy like this? I, I'm like I would ask Canelo, what are you doing? What's she? It's like, but then you look around and there's really nothing else. There's nobody else other now. Now the other guy that's the champ of the WBO, eh? He's he's there's no he has no he's not really relevant in the conversation. We know he won't he will he won't dare fight against Triple G. Well, that's that that's the thing. now if they're waiting for a big fight against Triple G in September or something. Well, okay, De La Hoya, I understand. You're all he's doing is protecting his fighter. I mean, having him fight against smaller guys. Well, like he always says, like everybody always said, Bob Arum did it with him. But he always gave him subpar fighters, so that's understandable. But the just the fact that this is that that this guy has been crying and crying and crying for I want Mayweather I want Pacquiao oh wow he's gonna get a pretty decent payday with um with Canelo and he's not gonna he's not gonna get the lion's share by far he's gonna get just a little nub but still it's more than he would get with any other type of fighter so that that's understandable but I'm gonna say this last thing and you know like I said I try to be fair about everything Amir Khan if you lose this fight and your A ends up on the ground and you're just laying there flat out cold get the hell out of here and go back to wherever you came from Look, I'm going to end with this right here. Shame on De La Hoya, and I'm going to tell you why, okay? Because first of all, you're over here talking about how great Canelo is and how he's the face of boxing and he's the greatest, and then you put him up against this clown? Really? This clown that already has a killer over there in the UK and Kell Brook waiting to knock his head off? And you're over here and you're going to say, oh no, let's put him against Canelo. Why? Why? Are you scared that Canelo's going to lose, Oscar? Are you scared well, that, that Triple that, 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 That'll be another conversation where he, I don't care what De La Hoya says. I don't care what Canelo says. He's going to, um, Triple G will destroy Canelo. And, and, and then Canelo will have another loss on his record. We know that. But De La Hoya just is, just is going with the easy chip shot. I mean, it's an easy chip shot. May 5th, MGM needs a fight. Mayweather's gone. It's like, phew, real simple. It, it was just business. Does it suck royally? Yeah. Well, do I really want to see this fight? No. But is there anything else? Is there anybody else who's made a name for themselves that could be that could we can could we say, get oh, Conor McGregor oh, to come to boxing? Oh, I wish. At, at least I there, can there, see something. There's just there's just a there's just such a shortage of real good fighters that you're. It's like it's, it's the one that it's the one that mark him. All right, all right, come in. Let's knock your a out. Come on, give him a little paycheck and get out of here. That's all you are, Amir Khan. That's all you are. Nothing else. This is horrible. I hate it. And I'll tell you one thing. I cannot wait to see your on the canvas down for the count. Cannot wait. That's an easy one. That's an easy one. What do you think the odds are going to open out on that one? I would Man. say like like negative 1,600 at or something. Least, at least. Yeah, Canelo's going to oh, You know Amir Khan's going to uh, he, Well, he's going to run. He's going to run. Amir but he ain't Mayweather. He he doesn't got Mayweather speed to be able well, to get you know, away. You're saying that he's the faster fighter. Oh, uh, what? He, 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 he ta- t- talking is easy. Talking is easy. It ain't going to go down like that. Well, anyways, we're going to have the hecklers... Um, We've got a hold of them, and that's going to be a crazy conversation. I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, keep everybody, you know, you and Heckler E. It's going to be insane. So I'm probably going to have uh, Heckler Seek try to conduct that one and try to keep you guys on set because you guys, I know you guys are going to uh, go go wild, go crazy. And, you know, um, I look forward to that uh, this Thursday. So, um, you know, uh, any last words, any parting words for Amir Khan? All I'm saying, one more thing, okay? And this is not really for Amir Khan because we all know what's going to happen to Amir Khan. Amir Khan, you're going to knock the hell out, and I don't want to see you anymore. But Canelo. Do me a favor, all right? Do me a favor, Canelo. And I'm not even a fan of yours. You're okay. 
All right, but I'm not a big fan of it, but do me a favor. Knock this guy the hell out, all right? And put yourself in the position where everybody wants to see you fight Triple G. If you're really that good and Oscar is saying that you're the best at boxing, you better knock out Amir Khan. You know, I see what Canelo, I mean, what um, I see what um, Triple G brings to the table. An undefeated record, all knockouts, right? Yeah, he's, I mean, I mean, he's, he's, he's had, I think, two that he had not knocked out. Right, but those were early on, right? Yeah, early on. Yeah, so he, he basically knocks everybody out. Yeah. And so that's what he brings to the table. But Amir Khan, what does he bring to the table? A bunch of decisions. Oh, you're a, a weight, a lower weight class fighter. You're not even a champ, and you got knocked out by a small guy, Danny Garcia, who knocked you out. He, what, what does he bring to the table? Other than he has a big mouth, he does bring a big mouth to the table. Maybe that that's the style right there. Shut the big mouth up, and you know people like to see people get their mouth shut, especially when they have big mouths. Big mouths get a lot of attention. Maybe maybe in comparison to the other fighters in the stable out there in the in the boxing world, he's the one with the biggest mouth is the one that got the most attention. Let's see him shut him up. I'm telling you who with a big mouth. Maybe that's was, the style. But he was a badass with Prince Nassim. Oh. Prince Nassim see, was from the UK, uh, the, and Prince Nassim that, would that, put people that, on. That ass. was amazing. All right, and and, Khan, and, and, not and, and he faced him. He faced. He ran into the wall with uh, uh, Marco Antonio Barrero. Amazing fight at the MGM. Amazing. The crowd. You, you should have seen when when he came in in his little uh, swing. People were going nuts, throwing shit at him. It was it, it, that he was he he was what they both of them wished they were. Any that guy was a badass. He was amazing. He had the it factor. It's a shame that we didn't get to see more Prince Nassim. Take notes, Amir Khan. Take notes, but Canelo, knock this guy the hell out. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, and we'll see you Thursday where it's going to be mayhem. Um, I'm going to have to make sure that um, I get some good sleep and I'm well rested. And I'm going to have to have a, a conference call with uh, Hector C before that so he could uh, help me moderate that one because it's probably going to be out of control. I'm Amir Khan, as you can tell. You are not very well liked. Well, thank you very much for your time, and we'll see you soon.